Welcome to ArcLight, the Rubenstein Library's new portal for our collection guides and finding aids. This site allows for search and discovery of archives and manuscripts held at the Rubenstein. Anyone can use this site to learn more about what's inside the boxes and folders in our collections. Let's get started. First, go to the ArcLight website, archives.lib.duke.edu. The landing page has a search box where you can type keywords to start searching. An advanced search is located here. Let's say you want to learn more about the history of voting. Type voting into the search box and hit enter. The search results page will come up. You will see your search term at the top. Below, you will see a list of results. Results can include collection titles, file titles, and keywords within different collections. If you'd like to group this list of results by collection, click the Grouped by Collection button. ArcLight lets you limit search results with faceting on the left-hand side of the results screen. You can see the different collections with voting in their entries and the number of hits per collection. You can limit search results by date, format, or place. There is a special facet for University Archives record groups. You can add more subjects to your search. If you are interested in search results from a specific Rubenstein Library Collecting Center, like the John Hope Franklin Research Center, you can locate it in the Names facet and scope your search accordingly. If you want to find Rubenstein Library materials that have some sort of online access or digitized surrogate, click the Online Access facet. By doing that in this example, you now have only 31 hits. These green icons serve as a visual cue that these hits have digitized components. The search results list will have the relevant component as a blue hyperlink. Beneath it, you can see breadcrumbs that indicate where this search result falls in an archival collection. You might choose to bookmark some of these results to refer to later. Check the bookmark box and you can collect these during your search process. You can also email them to yourself. Click on a search result to open that record in the Finding Aid database. Here I have clicked on this 1964 Mississippi entry. This link takes me to a specific item within the larger archival collection. The box icon at the top aligns with the collection title. The links beneath show you where this item exists in the collection's arrangement. The series and subseries are linked here. You can also see the container number for this item. Look to the left and you can see a hierarchical tree indicating where you have landed in the collection. You can collapse and expand these lists to see more or less of the rest of the collection. The yellow caution triangle indicates that there are access restrictions to look for with these items. The green icon means there is digitized content. You can explore this image in the Duke Digital Repository by clicking the View Item Page, More Info, Download link. You can always get out of the lower level search result by clicking the Collection button in the top left corner. Now you are on the Collection Summary record. This page has information about the creator, subjects, content, and size. Any access restrictions will be spotlighted in the Using These Materials box on the right-hand side of your screen. There will also be a yellow caution triangle next to restricted materials. When you scroll down, you can read a more in-depth summary of the collection and what is called a scope and contents note. The guide will also have information about how this collection came to be acquired by the Rubenstein Library. The Navigate the Collection section lists the different series, subseries, and file titles you can explore. Once you have identified items you want to use in the reading room or request for reproduction, click the green Request button to get started with Rubenstein Library's registration and request process. Although there are nearly 4,000 collection guides in ArcLight, Remember that number represents only a small percentage of the Rubenstein Library's holdings. This is just one way to start researching with primary sources. There is much more to find in the Duke University Library's catalog, accessible on the ArcLight homepage and through the Rubenstein Library's website. If you need help, be sure to contact us.